What's up guys? It's Kelly and today I am sharing with you a holiday nail art compilation. So we've got seven super easy beginner friendly designs that you can do. We've got some Christmas designs. We've got some Hanukkah designs. We even have some New Year's designs and the best part about these is most of them are pretty holiday neutral. So just depending on the color scheme you use, you can actually suit it to your holiday. So yeah, like I said, super easy. We're just going to be using some dotting tools, some nail art brushes, and it's going to be a fun time. So let me just show you how I did them. <laughs> So for all of the designs I'm showing you guys today, I am going to be using base coat underneath everything. I'm just using the Orly Bonder base coat. What this does is it helps protect your nail from getting stained and it keeps the manicure on for longer. So I'm not going to be showing that for every single design, but just know that it is underneath each manicure. So this first design is a really easy snowflake slash star. I'm not even sure which it is, but I feel like it works for either. And I thought that a sparkly red would be the perfect background for this. So I put on two coats of Starly Infrared from my new collab because I thought that that would just match really well with the white cream. But again, you can really use any background color for this. You can even use black if you want it to be more New Year's-y. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white nail polish. I'm going to take a medium-sized dotting tool and then I'm going to place a few random dots on my nail. So what these bigger dots are going to be is they're going to end up being some of those four-pointed stars or they even kind of look like little light flares. So that is the first step because you don't want to put too too many dots on your nails and then not have enough room for the little lens flare portion. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a thin nail art brush and I'm basically just going to create these little four pointed stars. So I'm going to do one line coming down from the dot, one line going up from the dot, and then one line on either side. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't really need a steady hand for this. You can get as sloppy as you want. And once the full nail is filled, you're really not going to be able to tell any inconsistencies or imperfections. That is my favorite type of nail or one where, you know, it looks very fancy and complicated, but it doesn't have to be perfect when you're actually doing it. So once I've got all of my major stars on, those four pointed stars or snowflakes or whatever you want to call them, then I'm going to fill in all of the extra space with medium and small dots. And that's why I figured this could either be stars or snowflakes because it can be like random falling snowflakes or it can be stars at a bunch of different distances. And the way that I'm creating these different size dots is I'm just taking the same dotting tool but sometimes I'm pressing really lightly, sometimes I'm pressing really hard, and I'm just creating all of these different sizes. So starting off with the bigger dots in the bigger areas, and then I'm just going to go in with even smaller dots in the surrounding areas. And at one point I actually grabbed my little nail art brush and created really tiny dots because I thought that they could get even smaller, and they did. So with all of these designs, you do want to make sure that your nail art is fully dry before you go in with your top coat. I always recommend using quick dry drops. I did not film that in this video, but I do recommend them, so I'll link some down below. But yeah, once you put on your top coat, this manicure is all finished. And if you use different colors, you can always use a matte top coat, and that would be super pretty too. Next up, we're going to do this really pretty and very subtle gradient dotted manicure. I just feel like this would be perfect for any holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year's. I just think it's appropriate for all of them, and it's just so delicate and elegant. So what I'm going to do is I am doing a base coat of white and then I am taking Starly AU as my gold and I'm basically just using a very small dotting tool to create dots starting with the free edge of my nail where I have the most dots and then as I go further up my nail I'm just going to get a little bit more sparse with the dots. I am speeding this up because I usually like to dip after every like two or three dots because I want to have enough on my dotting tool that I'm not smudging the base color. It is a very simple process it just takes some time to keep on dipping back in and and once I am happy with how it looks, I just finish off with my top coat. And as you can see, there's really not too many dots on here. I really wanted a very subtle, simple look, but you can always do more if you want, or you can make the bottom super gold heavy so that it looks like more of a gradient. For me, I was just inspired by this Bath and Body Works lotion that I have. I think it's called In the Stars or Written in the Stars. It has this really beautiful little subtle gold dot gradient going up it. And I just thought that was so pretty and I really 
wanted to recreate it on my nails. So here it is, the perfect subtle little holiday manicure. Next up, we'll draw on some presents. So I thought I would go with a nice blue and gold scheme for this one. And I'm using ILNP Snow Globe as my base because I just think that color is so gorgeous and festive for the holidays. And then once I have a few coats on, I'm gonna take Starly AU again, and I'm gonna start to draw my present. So what I'm doing is I'm basically doing a big plus sign across my nail that is like kind of the ribbon of the present and it doesn't have to be perfect again because we are going to be covering most of the middle with a big bow so I'm just going in with that really thin brush and for me I like to do a bunch of little strokes some people like to just lay the brush out on their nail to get a straight line it's just whatever is easier for you and then using this sort of quadrant method I'm just going to draw like a little kind of circle on each side of the two spots on the top I don't I'm not doing a great job explaining this but thankfully there is a visual to help out and then we're just gonna do like two little wavy lines on the bottom and that creates what could either be kind of a messed up pretzel or it could be a gift so then I am taking the shade Zoya Meredith and I am just going over the bow part because I thought it would be nice to have like a little accent where it looks like the bow was created with a couple of different types of ribbon so again this is a nail art design that you can really customize to whatever color scheme works for you and whichever holiday you are celebrating. Personally, I love the blue and gold. I think it is so subtle and elegant and wintry and really perfect for Hanukkah. But if you wanted to make this a little bit more Christmassy, you can always use a red or a green base. And I think that would look gorgeous as well. So just finishing off with my top coat again. And then here is the full manicure. I think it is so cute. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. I also wanted to see what it looked like matte though. And I personally loved the matte as well. You really can't see the gold flakes as much in the base color, but I still thought it turned out really pretty. Next up is a design that I have been dying to do ever since I got China Glaze Celebra Tree because that is the most tree-like nail polish I have ever used ever. So I'm just going in with a nudish base color and then here's the star of the show. I'm just gonna put some out on some scrap paper. That's what I do every time I need to use a dotting tool or a nail art brush. And basically the way that I create a tree is I start on the upper portion of the nail and I just draw a relatively straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I make it into an arrow. And that is the best way to kind of make a skeleton for your tree. So once I have that first arrow, I'm going in and drawing basically a second arrow. And then I do a third arrow and it actually creates this really nifty little tree. And because we're using that shade Celebrity Tree, it looks like there's already all this nail art done for us that we don't even have to worry about. It's got this tree vibe to it and it's just all perfect. You don't even have to add anything to this. I ended up putting on a star again using Starly AU because I feel like that is my favorite gold right now and I just can't stop using it. You can also put on little ornaments with a dotting tool in whatever color scheme you want. Personally, I just didn't even want to cover up that gorgeous green. So I just left it as is and I decided to do it as an accent nail because for me, one Christmas tree is enough. But but if you want to go in and do multiple, you totally can. Even if you don't celebrate any of these holidays, I think this polish is awesome because you can make just a bunch of pine trees on your nails. And I think that would be really fun as well. But yeah, so just popping on my top coat once again, and here is my full manicure. And I think it's just such a fun little accent nail to do. So this one is arguably the most difficult out of the designs that I'm showing you guys today, but I figured I would put in a more intermediate design for those of you who are interested in something a little bit more complicated slash time consuming. I am basically gonna be drawing some ornaments on my nails. So there's no real tricks to it. I am just drawing a big circle on my nail using that same brush and just kind of hoping that it ends up being round enough that it looks like an ornament. You can always do different shapes you'll see at the end of this that the full manicure has a few different shapes of ornaments on there but the circle to me is the easiest design just because you can keep on making it bigger if it's not perfect and then I'm just gonna have the little hanging part I don't even know what that's called the little hanging part I'm gonna do with gold and then I put a black line on the top to make it seem like it was hanging from my cuticle oh 
I didn't do that part yet. Hold on, first we gotta add some little details to my ornament. So taking infrared again and I'm just creating some stripes. You can do dots, you can do whatever matches your actual ornaments and it would be really fun. But yeah, so I ended up doing this line down the top to make it look like it was hanging, but then I thought it was a little bit too stark. So I actually outlined the entire design and I do prefer the way that looks. Again, this is more of an intermediate design verging on advanced because we are working with with very small lines here. So I understand this nail art is not for everyone, but if you do it, I think it ends up looking super cool and you can make small mistakes along the way. And I don't think people would really be studying your nails closely enough to be able to see any of those mistakes. I actually really couldn't decide if I prefer this design glossy or matte. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Next up, we are doing some Hanukkah candles and this doesn't have to be just for Hanukkah. If you just wanna have some cool candle nails, this is the way that I would do them. But because we're going Hanukkah, I decided to use this beautiful Hanukkah blue shade called Twinkles. And once that is fully dry on the nail, again, I'm just doing basically a straight line down the center of my nail and I'm going about halfway down. This white part is going to be my candle. So basically just doing the same method as I have been doing for the others, just kind of creating a skeleton and then filling it in. I feel like that is definitely the easiest way for me to do nail art instead of just going in with an outline because if you make a mistake when you're doing something like this, you can always make the candle a little wider or a little taller and it just makes it easier to cover up those mistakes without having to redo anything. So then I'm just going to do a black wick on the candle. And again, this Starly AU is really the star of the show in today's video, but I'm just gonna draw a little flame. So it's got a little rounded bottom and then it's got a couple of little points on the top. I thought it would look cool if it was like kind of a flickering looking flame. So this design is very, very sparkly. If you want it to be a little bit less busy on the nails, you can always use less sparkly polishes. But honestly, I love the way that this turned out. I thought it was so cute. And the best part about this is if you are doing it for Hanukkah, you've got four nails on each hand that could make the eight nails. And then you could just do a big shamash on one or both of your thumbs. So here, is that and again you can always just do this as an accent nail as well if you just want to have one candle and I think that would look super awesome too. So for the final design, we are gonna do some candy cane stripes, but I thought I would switch it up a little bit and do them in green because I wanted to show off this polish and also show you how well it matches with Starly Terra, which is another one of my collab shades. So I'm gonna paint on my base and then I'm going to use top coat over the design. So we're using striping tape today. Top coat will help prevent that base color from getting peeled up. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let it dry completely and then I'm gonna start applying my my tape diagonally across my nail. So with striping tape, you do need to work fast. So I am working fast in this video, but basically what I'm doing, and you can always use just the regular bottle brush for this, but for me, it's a little bit easier to paint around the striping tape and then peel it off really quick and then move on to the next piece of striping tape. I know that it sounds daunting and a little intimidating. It is truly not. The only downside of this manicure is that it's very time consuming, but I think it looks really cool. If anybody gets those, like, I think they're jelly rings or maybe it's Starburst brand of candy canes where they have all of these colors where they have like the pink and red one and then they have the dark blue and light blue one and then they have the dark green and light green ones. Oh my gosh, that would be such a fun like Skittle manicure where each nail is a different color but it's all the same candy cane stripe design. That would be really cool. So somebody, somebody should definitely do that. The one last trick of this design is I'm actually gonna be applying my top coat diagonally just to make sure that it doesn't bleed the colors across my nail and ruin those really beautiful stripes that I've created. And that is it. So that's it for this design and that's it for this video. But I would love to hear from you guys, which of these seven designs is your favorite? Are you planning on doing any of them for the holidays? Let me know in the comments. You know I love to chat with you. If you enjoy this nail art compilation, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.